to you guys have to understand. I'm going to say this. I'm going to tell you all. Nerd communities are racist are leagues behind socially from like normal people, okay? Anime and gaming communities are far behind when it comes to racism and when it comes to sexism. These communities are racist and sexist. That's the reality. So shut up and stop pretending that it's they're not racist, sexist communities. Okay? Gaming and anime, racist and sexist. At least the people in those communities. Okay? The hell are you talking about, nerd? Okay, so... Blackbird is a content creator on TikTok. He's a bit listen. I don't mind the guy. He's a pretty smart guy. He gets a little a little kooky for my liking. Um but you know, it is what it is. Uh but he's got a little controversy with the anime community. I couldn't find the core video. I don't know if he took it down or I'm literally just the stupidest man in the world. I got it. I'm so smart. On track. So um, backstory. Blackbird made this video. We're going to start. We're going through the whole chain. I think I have gotten it. So we're going to go through the chain of events um, that kind of got there. But he's basically having a little bit of a feud with the anime community over, I guess, cultural appropriation or something. Or I guess really like changing the skin color of characters. I don't know. But let's get into this. So where is my white privilege? I can't seem to find it. That's and what the that person said. exactly the problem. You guys don't seem to understand how this works. White privilege isn't like a credit card that you pull out whenever you want to use it. Yes, it is. It's supposed it to be. It just happens around you and you don't know about it. I'll give you an example. So I just want to be like clear about white privilege. Like I understand the existence of white privilege. I don't like the packaging of it because I think it's generally demonizing towards white people when, you know, um, unintentional, like unnecessarily rather. I think it is rather intentional. Um, it's, un it's, it's just unnecessarily targeting or, you know, dismissive against white people in their experience. I know that sounds silly. And then if you express that opinion with some people do, you're like, oh, well, you're white. So like, you're not the victim. So shut up. Just saying, I don't like the packaging. Like people of color, disprivilege would have been better. I am <clears throat> somebody who is thin. I have the privilege of being thin. If I go to sit down on a bus, I don't have to think about, damn, am I going to fit in that seat? But somebody who is much larger than me is going to think about that. That's a weird association because, like, if you're fat, it's your fault. I'm just saying. So it's like, I, you have thin privilege. Well, you know, it's not that you have thin privilege. It's that you have black or, excuse me, fat disprivilege. <laughs> you know, you can't choose to be black or white. You can choose to be fat. I'm just saying. That is what it's like being black. Being a black. It's just being, like being fat? I know what you're saying. I'm just being I'm just being facetious at this point. Black person is like being a fat person on a bus looking for an available seat. Yeah, they could just change their skin color. It's a little bit of a bad overall take. Like I understand what you're saying, and I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying this was a weird this was a weird one. White privilege is being able to cosplay any Japanese character and nobody questioning it, but if you cosplay a Japanese character and you're black, people call you racial slurs and say that the character is not black. He's kind of right about that. That's just one example. See, this is not something that you have to actually think about because you're white. White privilege may not... Wait, so they're going to go off... Is that why they went off on him over that? I always move you forward in life, but it doesn't keep you back because of your race. Yeah, I get that. That's fair. I, I, the, it was a little bit weird. This flaming. Cosplay I'm surprised that's what they lost it over. His analogy on the bus was weird, but like... Yeah, man. White, cat, white people have no problem cosplaying every anything and like i guess part of it's because like i don't know anime characters look white i think i think i remember seeing something where like japanese artists um they said that they intentionally make them look kind of white because they're more i don't know more consumable i don't know if that's true or if that was something that i misheard many 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 years ago I'm not saying that's fact you cosplay a japanese character and you're black People call you racial slurs and say that the character is not dead was correct, but the yes. way you're saying it is wrong. You're saying it as if I don't think that it's wrong. Then it's a thing of white privilege. No, it's just wrong to criticize someone because they aren't the same color as the person they're cosplaying. But to say that that's exclusive to black people is shit, and you know it. If I right now were to go cosplay as Afro Samurai or Sister Crone or somebody like that, I would get canceled. I no, I don't think that's true, actually. I think that you're wrong. I, think, I mean, like, listen, this apparently is... I don't know if this is your community. I think you're an anime nerd, not necessarily a cosplay nerd. Though I could be wrong. I'll look after this. 
But I don't know, man. Blackbird's take on the fat guys versus black people, that was a weird analogy. But like the idea that black people get a lot of unnecessary criticism for cosplaying as a character that's not black. I can't cosplay as him, not only because I'm fat, but because I'm not black. And if- Also, fat people do get a lot of shit for cosplaying. So maybe Blackbird was more right than we thought, huh? If I did, I would be hung on a cross with no questions asked. It's actually hanged, and also, no, I disagree. And that's... So where's the, where's the white privilege there, man? We just gotta acknowledge that it's wrong, period, and not white privilege. I'm so confused. So many other arguments you could use for white privilege, and th- th- that's the dumbest one. No, that was actually the best one of the two that he made. I don't know what you're talking about. White... Okay, I hate... I, I hate white privilege. I hate the name. I hate the packaging. But... White, priv- white privilege is the ability to cosplay as any character. That's what he was saying. He's not wrong. Blackbird is not wrong. He cosplays whatever you want. It's a black white guy. It doesn't. You can even do Afro Samurai. And you'll get little shit because most a- people in the anime community, at least obviously at least the westernized anime community, are white. They don't care. <laughs> what the hell is this kid on about? Is this kid a cosplayer? Nah, he's just a nerd. He doesn't cosplay. So you're not even really speaking from a place of experience. But the way you're saying it is... All right, let's cosplay a Japanese character and you're let's black. get into this. People cosplaying as a Japanese character when you're white and not being discriminated for it is white privilege. Because it has everything to do with your race and you wouldn't be discriminated for it. You would never face the same discrimination that a black cosplayer would cosplaying any of these characters. And it's not because the character isn't just dark skinned. I'm talking about racial discrimination. Like, Somebody really quick brought up and said if my, my daughter dresses Moana, she'd be canceled. First of all, I don't think that's true. Second of all, even if that is true, we're talking specifically about the anime community right now. And the anime cosplay community, not necessarily like dressing up as a character from a movie. I'm just saying. Like, Sasuke isn't a type of discrimination. The reason why you would get canceled for playing Afro Samurai is because he is a character that is exclusively oh made to be black. I'm about to say something that a lot of people are afraid to say. White people, everything was strictly uh... about you for a very long time in this country. For way too long, black people were underrepresented in this country. And now that they're being represented, you think you get the right to take that away without people calling you out in 2020? You don't. It's not 1925. We're not taking any more of your shit. No, it's not 1925, Blackbird. I don't know why you threw out the N-word so casually, buddy. Shit. Jesus. Christ, I'd never want to watch that video again. Real interesting because um, I made that video and I was extremely respectful to you, man. Because I don't dislike you or was trying to come off as hostile. Because I never said anything in that video that was hostile however are implying that it's okay to say that a white person can't cosplay as a black character which i don't agree with and your excuse for that is that there's been plenty of white characters and that oh you shouldn't take away from the black community how hypocritical is that man and then when i was like simply just telling you to stop being so hostile this is what you had to say uh yo got decades of characters used don't appropriate us go cosplay fat shag i guess he is black i don't care Why are you throwing that word out there? Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, like everybody should be able to uh, cosplay as any character regardless of the color. Who cares? Damn, that's that's real nice of you, man. Literally go watch my video. I literally said, it's nice to see you back. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're encouraging hate to one side, but saying it's okay for the other. It's wrong either way. How fucking ignorant do you have to be to do that? In a situation where I wasn't even hostile. What a piece of shit. Listen, if you're going to engage in political commentary, stop crying about how hostile. And your your video was a bad take. And, like, it was kind of perceived, in my opinion, as, like, an ignorant, somewhat semi-hostile uh, hit. <sighs> because, um, I made that video, and I was extremely... Re- Blackbird. Mm, real interesting, because... Uh, Blackbird, I swear to God, bro. Um, I made that video, and I was extremely respectful to you, man, because I don't dislike you or was trying to come off as hostile. And neither was I. I was not inherently hostile to you in my original video response. Go rewatch it if you don't believe me. You, however, are implying that it's okay to say that a white person can't cosplay as a black character, which I don't agree with. That, the thing that you said in your comments, is why I became hostile towards you. None of you seem to understand. I don't want to have a dialogue with you. I don't want to have a discussion with you. I want your racist ideology to stop existing. Well, I mean, that's a bit bizarre. You know, I don't, you know, you Blackford, you are uh, a political commentator. So this idea that you don't want to engage dialogue rather bizarre okay i'm just saying 
Um, and again, like, I mean, that's a bad. I mean, like, I, the fact that you think what's the I, I listen. I what's the the racist ideology that you shouldn't be able to. You should be able. You should just be able to cosplay as whatever character you want, but regardless of skin color. That's my ideology. I think that it's okay for white people to play black characters and represent black characters means that you do not understand the historical context of why that is inappropriate. No, this is wrong. So here's the thing: if your criticism is, "Hey, um, I don't like the fact that black people get criticized for uh, doing cosplay for like white characters," that's 100%. I agree. Anybody should be able to cosplay anything, but this idea that black people should be able to cosplay as any character and white people need to stay away from black characters is stupid. I mean, it's not equal. So come on. And if you do not understand that, it is not my job to educate you. It is. It's just a field that you've chosen on TikTok is education. You can go fuck yourself. Damn, that's that's real nice of you, man. You want? <laughs> this is the problem. Blackbird was was doing well, and this is this is too much. Not nice. Go to Godfrey's page. He's nice. I'm not. What a piece of shit. Yeah. Never meet your heroes. Hmm, really a little presumptuous there, but ideology to. You, I want your racist ideology to stop existing. The fact that you think that it's okay for white people to play black. What? I'm racist now because I said that anyone should be able to cosplay anyone. Is that what he said in the beginning? I don't think that's what he necessarily said in the beginning. In the beginning, Blackbird was like, hey, black people get a lot of shit for cosplaying non-black characters. And then you were like, yeah, I would get the same heat. And it's like, no, you wouldn't. And now I don't think that your original video, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't really think that you said anybody should be able to cosplay anything outright in any real capacity. You kind of just defended the racism a little bit of people. I'm just being honest. As long as you're not doing blackface, a white person should be able to dress up as an Afro samurai if they fucking want to. And yeah. Yeah, sure. That's true. I mean, like, yeah, you shouldn't paint your face black to dress up as an Afro samurai. Like, <laughs> you... Just keep your skin white. That's okay. You don't need to. You can put the afro on. You can put the samurai on, but you don't need the black face on there. A black person should be able to dress up as Sasuke. I'm not saying that that's not okay. On the contrary, I literally said it's wrong to criticize both of them. Once again, as long as you're not doing blackface, it's fine. To that's a fair perspective. I just don't think that that was conveyed very well in the beginning. I don't think that you did a good job of conveying that message. Cosplay a black character. Why is it so deep? They're all Japanese, anyways. They're none of them are white. So honestly. What do you mean? I thought Sasuke, that's a white name, no? Naruto? That's not a white guy's name? I Augers. can't cosplay any of them because none of them are white, right? You gotta remember, these are <sighs> anime characters. They're written by Japanese authors. But they don't live here in fucking America where there's systematic racism. Well, yeah, but like Japanese, like listen, let's have this conversation, okay? All right, America is the greatest country in the world and the biggest reason is because we're a melting pot. Other countries don't have systemic racism or systematic racism, whatever label you want to put on it, because there's no black people there, honestly. That's kind of it. There's no black people in Japan, bro. But they, like, but Japanese are, like, people, or rather, like, anime artists and whatnot, or whatever you want to call them, manga makers, they have an issue. They, they, don't, they don't portray black characters very well at all, and they get decent criticism, honestly, from the Western community. Um, which is becoming slowly more prevalent. But, like, why do you think there's not an abundance of black characters? <laughs> What's, like, the first decent black character we've seen? The girl from Hunter x Hunter actually had, like, looked like a, like, looked like a, a decent black person instead of a whitewashed black character. Most black characters just have black skin in anime, and they look, they have white features. What is that? Of the, uh, a, is that the name of the character? Oh, that's from something. You know my point? They don't make characters so black people can have cosplay. They make it because over there, it's not the same. Why is the only thing people like you see is skin color? What does that sound like? I don't know. It sounds like you're reaching to try to call him a racist back now that he called you a racist unjustifiably. The original point in your very first video clearly stated, proof of white privilege is how a white person can cosplay a Japanese character and not get crucified, but if a black person does it, they get crucified. Not literally crucified, because I know some of y'all stupid, but they get attacked. Then you go on to say that if a white person cosplays a black person, historical context proves that it's appropriate to cancel that person. 
Yeah, that's a that's a pretty accurate rundown of what Blackbird said. Who cosplay as a black person. Which in most situations, getting canceled is your account getting banned. So if a white person cosplays as a black character in anime, you think their account should get banned. Which is the ignorance that we're pointing out behind it. At least that's what I'm coming at. I didn't say- a Well, that's probably the best display anybody- That other kid was- Stupid. Worry about any of your statements until you start to say it was appropriate for you to cancel a white person for cosplaying a black character in anime, which they are Japanese. So you're being extremely hypocritical. You're upset at black cosplayers getting attacked, but you think you should cancel white cosplayers cosplaying as black anime characters. That's hypocrisy at its finest. They're just trying to have fun. Okay, fair. And I don't have time to respond to them all, so I'm just gonna. All, so I'm just gonna do it here in this video. The bomb Japan, right? Congratulations. Thank you for winning my argument for me. What you said in your comments is why I became hostile towards you. None of you seem to understand. I don't want to have a dialogue with you. He goes on to say that white people can't cosplay black characters and represent them or whatever because mm. of historical context. If we use historical context, that means Americans can't cosplay any Japanese characters because guess what? They were in Japan and America bombed Japan, right? Congratulations. Thank you for winning my argument for me. Yes, maybe we shouldn't be cosplaying as characters from races that we've completely fucked over based on historical context. How? What? Really? That's your argument? That we should never let go of the past? I don't understand. So effectively what you're saying is we should um, just not consume Asian culture as white people. Like, because, like, well, yeah, we wronged them in the past. I get it. But, like, what? You're saying, basically, you're telling people to stay out of it? Hey, just don't uh, don't cosplay. Don't really like the characters. Make sure you see them as Asian characters rather than as just characters that you like a lot. Listen, bro, by your logic, I'm not getting this All Might tattoo on Saturday. But, motherfucker, I'm telling you, I am getting that tattoo, okay? That's an Asian, that's an Asian character. He's a Japanese, bro. Or I thought he was American, but I found out he's not. A little disappointing, but it's okay. I still love the character. I'm going to get it, okay? I don't understand. This is bizarre, dude. That's a weird take. That just seems like we're, we're tiptoeing around everything. I didn't even need a full 60 seconds. What you said in your comment. Okay. Japanese characters, because guess what? They were in Japan. Got to refresh it. can't cosplay any Japanese characters, because guess what? They were in Japan and America bombed Japan, right? After this comment was made, now everybody's in my comment. Oh my goodness, I gotta fucking raise the volume on this because it's low as shit. I'm saying, well, I guess nobody can cosplay any characters. I never said that. He, he kind of just said it. You kind of said like, hey, you proved my point. Co you shouldn't cosplay as characters that aren't your skin color. You or rather your ethnicity, I guess we're getting to that that point. I took it out of context. Oh, I took it out of context. Okay, what's this? The fact that you think that it's okay for white people to play black characters and represent black characters means that you do not understand the historical context of why that is inappropriate. Mm. So he's saying that historical context is the reason why white people shouldn't be able to cosplay as black people. Where in my original video I said if that's the case and that means Americans can't cosplay as Japanese because of the horrible things Americans have done to them and have used them and abused them in the past. Please explain how that's out of context. Because also in my original video, I'm saying that's being very hypocritical. So that means if we're using historical context, Americans can't cosplay as the Japanese. Which is the same thing as him saying that white people can't cosplay as black people because historical context. Americans can't cosplay. Yeah, sure, I agree with that. Our original point in your very first video for white privilege is how a white person can cosplay a Japanese character and not get crucified. Exactly. So let's see where this went wrong and how you guys misinterpreted everything and this turned into a shit show. Ding. Uh, I'm just gonna put it out there since you're talking about misinterpretation. You made an original point about white privilege. You used anime characters as a good point. You made a really good point. In the beginning, you said that like when a white person cosplays as a black character, uh, oh no, excuse me, you said when a black person tries to co uh, cosplay as a white character, they get like so much shit and they get a lot of bigotry uh, targeted with bigotry, which is true because if you looked in deeper into that, most characters are white presenting, even if they're Asian, they're white presenting, and Asian people and white people don't really give a shit about, uh, you know, dressing up as each other's characters. For some reason, black people get like unnecessary hate. Then you kind of moved on to say that like white people shouldn't be cosplaying black characters while black people should be able to cosplay white characters. I don't really think that that really promotes any equality there. And then you said that black, white people effectively deserve to be canceled. They, 
know, dressed as a black character. All I'm going to say is that, uh, you know, just don't wear the face. Don't, just don't blackface yourself if you're going to be play, be a white person playing a black character. You should be good. When you go on to say white person cosplays <clears throat> a black person, historical context proves that it's appropriate to cancel that person. And right there is where you all fucked up. I never said that. I don't think that somebody should be canceled if they're white and cosplaying a black character. I simply explained to you the historical context of why that may be inappropriate. You kind of took a stance on it. I do believe it's inappropriate. That's my opinion, but I am not the authority on this. I'm a fucking libertarian for Christ's sakes. I don't dictate what others can or can't do. What I'll say is, like, I believe you when you say that, like, that was just your opinion. But when you, you promote your opinion in that way in, like, the political commentary world, you're generally, like, unless you specifically say, you know, I personally think that you should be canceled to some extent. It's still a bit, like, that's what we're talking about, our particular opinions on it. Socially, right? Libertarianism is about, you know, lack of governmental laws, not about, um, you know, the lack of social norms, but I Those understand are two different things. why that person may get canceled. My major point is being black people being underrepresented. I didn't get that from what you said. I think that, that you may have just presented your point poorly. It's not bad. I mean, that's I. I mean, I disagree with your point, but it's not like a bad thing to express necessarily. It's your opinion. Presented in media and the racist history of white people playing black characters. Maybe you should listen more closely to what I actually said. The reason why you would get canceled for playing Afro Samurai, I think you get the right to take that away without people calling you out. And never did I say what people can or can't do. I simply explained the thought process and the possible ramifications. All right. I think you could have done a better job portraying that. Be here. <laughs> chilling until fucking Seth Rogen. This, this kid gets me a little bit. Where's the Seth Rogen comment? I'm just gonna start this off by I think I'm gonna do it here in this video. Every point that you guys have made against me has not. Sorry, been I just need to. First of all, if you this is part two, this is part one, of right? Mine, it has been I think we'll go through so this next. It's so out of it's like there's so much that it's hard for me to keep track of like the order. I'm gonna make community about this whole cosplay thing. Over the past couple of hours, I've gotten a lot of video responses, and I don't have time to respond to them all, so I'm just gonna do it here in this video. Every you offended the anime weebs, Blackbird. You should have been you should have been ready for the the shit storm, okay? Every point that you guys have made against me has not been a point of mine. It has been your points. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Exhibit A. If I right now were to go cosplay as Afro Samurai or fucking Sister Crone or somebody like that, I would get fucking canceled. So if that was his poor response to your original point that black people get a lot of hatred for cosplaying as white characters, he's just trying to say that it's not white privilege because everybody gets that same slack for cosplaying as a character that's not their skin color. Going further into your point... Your point was more that there are an abundance of white characters for white people to choose from, so they should stay away from black characters. I kind of get what you're saying. I disagree just on the foundation of like equality. Um, his point was just like, hey, white privilege doesn't exist. He thinks it's and I don't really think white people get shit for, for portraying black characters, by the way. But critical that he would get canceled for cosplaying a black character. I would have just said that, so now you're full of shit. And who would be canceling him? Not fucking me. Because that kid is like not too bright on the, the point. But you are aware that that may be the case. And I explained the historical context of why that would be inappropriate. Exhibit B. Americans can't cosplay any Japanese characters because guess what? They were in Japan and America bombed Japan, right? After this. You, you did say, yeah, he's right. You said, hey, you proved my point. And I, I kind of put nay yourself on that one. <laughs> comment was made now everybody's in my comments saying well i guess nobody can cosplay any characters i never said that he did and you guys took it out of context you kind of reinforced it and said yeah that's true you won my argument for me you said the words oh you you just won my argument for me i didn't even have to make this video last but not least you guys keep saying keep politics out of anime i never brought politics into anime i was here chilling until fucking seth rogan jr over here responded to one of my videos so you can fuck so I All I'm saying is, like, you started really strong with your point about white privilege. And they got a little cuckoo. Little cuckoo bananas. Respond to my video saying... Do this part two video. So in part two of my response to the anime community, I just want to say a couple of... I can't wait to get to this nerdy kid that laughs like a fucking hyena at your video. Things. First of all, <laughs> if you respond to my video saying that I miss and all this bullshit like that, and you have an anime profile picture, your opinion doesn't mean shit to me. I look at your opinion in the same way as when I make a political video and somebody with a Trump 2020 profile picture makes a response to me. Your opinion is less than nothing. 
Second of all, it's not my fault that you guys aren't smart enough to watch videos in chronological order instead of taking shit out of context. I, I feel personally attacked because it was very difficult for me to get these videos in chronological order because <laughs> there's like 15 of them <laughs> for this stream. Text. Third, I know the anime community very well. I've had tons of anime friends. I go to Comic-Con every single year and I've been watching anime when you guys were still in fucking diapers. I want to go. I think I might go to Comic-Con if I can and say hi to you guys if, you, if you're there. Most of you are kids, so you're not smart. Although they probably canceled it. The rest of you are simply just not smart. Most of you are so aggressive, Blackbird. <laughs> Pathetic fucking. I mean, like, honestly, you're being a little bit of a dick over, like, a poor pre presentation of your perspective. Smelly losers who have no girlfriends, cringy as fuck, and you guys are one step above furries and bronies. That's true, but I don't know why you needed to attack them so personally on that. Oh, jeez. I have no respect for, like, 80% of you. Most of you. Jesus Christ, why are you so fucking mean? <laughs> it's like a... Oh, oh my God. Thing I've never cosplayed in your fucking lives. Throwing in a Kotsky robe over your shirt, jeans, and sneakers, and saying that you're a Tachi doesn't count. So you guys can keep crying. I really don't give a shit. All right. I, got, I, got, I can't wait for this kid. Logan Jr. This, all right, this is, this is the, the... Oh. They're chilling until fucking Seth Rogen Jr. over here... Like Randall from Recess. That was a good verse. I like that. I'm gonna start this off by saying I don't think. Oh, this kid's so low. Cosplay should be limited by sex, gender, or race. If you love that character and you want to cosplay as that character, go ahead, do it. But very progressive, because I'd be like, yeah, maybe the gender. But you know what? You should be able to cosplay whatever. Good point, young man. Also, need to understand <clears throat> Blackbird's point. Historically, dressing up as black people has been a cause of offense and purposeful offense. Well, historically, white actors would dress up as black characters, uh, black caricatures, excuse me, of black people to go in like theater because black people weren't allowed to do that. But it's like, yeah, let me put a really racist caricature face on. So let's not, we got to stop throwing around the word historically like it, it adds anything to your argument. There's also the fact that there aren't that many black characters in anime. I yeah, imagine. right. And going back to the white privilege root argument, like that's because <laughs> there aren't a lot of black people in Japan, and they already have sh they're, sh they're getting a little bit of shit for not portraying black characters correctly. And then when black people try to uh, cosplay as uh, white characters or you know s white skinned characters, they get racism and bigotry thrown at them that was the original point which was a solid point if we stayed on that course would have been a really good point I can give you loads and loads of pale and white skin characters yeah i could probably name about 10 20 black characters off my head i can name none i'm not a big anime person but like you're saying black character they're probably just white featured characters with black skin which to me isn't even a very good portrayal of a black character you had all these flavors of chocolate bars and then somebody Somebody else had like one chocolate bar. That, but that was your favorite chocolate bar. You already have all oh, the what? Bars. The fuck are you talking? Like I know that's a bit of a shit analogy, but imagine yeah. it like that. There's this is really shitty analogy, but you acknowledged it, so I'm not gonna bother. But Blackbird's it. opinion on this. What I also have to say, I don't think cosplaying should be limited by sex, gender, or race. That's fair. <laughs> that's a fair argument. All right, let me lower this back down now, because you guys are just that kid whispered his video. I think I don't think cosplay should be. Don't yell now. I'm going to turn it up. Don't yell. If you love that character, You're going to yell. Cosplay as that character, go ahead, do it. You're going to yell. But you also need to understand Blackbird's point. Historically, dressing up as black people has been a cause of offense and purposeful offense. There's also the fact that there aren't that many black characters in anime. I can Did I just like completely wash over that point and like think that he said it wasn't a cause for offense? Well, you know what? I might have misheard his point. Because like, yeah, it is generally a cause for offense. Um... <laughs> I don't know why I heard that's not cause for offense. Loads of pale and white skin characters. Yeah, I could probably name about 10, 20 black characters off my head. You had all these flavors of chocolate bars. What are you, the new Danelli Blackbird? Do you say anything somebody, in this video? Somebody else had like one chocolate bar, that, but that was your favorite chocolate bar. You already have all those chocolate bars. Would you take that one chocolate bar? Yes, I, I would. I'm a capitalist colonizing pig. That's a bit of a shit analogy, but imagine it like that. Do respect Blackbird's opinion on this, but I also have to say I don't think cosplaying should be limited by sex, gender. Why you gotta take shots at America? Who gives a They're fuck, chilling. dude? Who cares, dude? I never. Okay, I guess we're gonna go back to this. He never said cancel.
proves that it's appropriate to cancel that person. And right there is where you all fucked up. I never- You never said cancel, and you said it's inappropriate to you. That's where I can't do nothing about that. I've stated all I really need to state it on it. If you still feel like it's inappropriate, I can't do nothing about it. As long as you don't go hating on others for doing it, then I'm good. All right, the ending, of this, on others, the ending of this got boring. You expressed yourself on the situation, it made it sound like you were, so. As long as you can come and understand that, then we're all good. That is all right, now it's boring. All right, I want a flare. Rogan Jr. over here responded to one of my videos. So <laughs> Are you on there? You gonna take that as an insult? Seth Rogan is funny and successful. I mean, I disagree. He's not that funny. He's successful. I don't really like Seth Rogan's. On, I watch his movies. I don't really like him. But I just personally, I hate him. But he does have decent. Con but I don't like you, Seth. Seth Rogan, you're a very easy. You're. I don't. You're so easy to to hate. You just, so, I, I just, I just, Seth Rogen, you just, you're such a, I just don't know what it is about you, man. Sorry. Not sorry. I'll fucking take it. But it's funny that you're insulting now that you know you're wrong. You got called out by a shit ton of people and you're wrong. Well, getting called out by a lot of people doesn't mean that you're inherently wrong. So you defend yourself by insulting people. You didn't even tag me in that video because you're a fucking coward. You're just a straight up pussy. And what the fuck did you expect? What happened? You were like, you're so mean to me, Blackbird. Why are you so mean to me? And now you're calling him a pussy. You, you, just, you lost everything. You brought a political debate into the fucking anime community. Stick to politics. Oh, he didn't. He just used. Uh, he just referenced the racism that black people experience when they cosplay as a character that is white. Thanks, man. Because at least in our community, we don't encourage to see race as a deriving factor between people. As y you. No, I mean not for nothing, but like the anime community is racist. Like nerd, you guys have to understand. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna tell you all. Nerd communities are. Racists are leagues behind socially from like normal people. Okay, anime and gaming communities are far behind when it comes to racism and when it comes to sexism. These communities are racist and sexist. That's the reality. So shut up and stop pretending that it's they're not racist, sexist communities. Okay, gaming and anime, racist and sexist. At least the people in those communities. Okay, the hell are you talking about, nerd? I really do. I don't give two shits about your fans or you trying to come at me because I won the second you decided to insult me. Really showed that you let your feelings get involved. Even now, I'm not blah, 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 blah. Because that just speaks for itself. What, that he has gray hairs in his beard? On my live, and it's... So I addressed right. the anime community yesterday on my... How about my racist? <laughs> That's like the pot calling the kettle white. My live, and if you didn't tune into that, I just want to clear this up here. You have been led to believe that I have the belief that people can't cosplay as other races. I know this is true because I'm seeing all your comments of you guys saying so. I like your haircut. It seems like that guy got to you, so you got a haircut to look nicer. This is not an argument that I ever made. It is an argument that somebody else made, and instead of actually... And you agreed with it. You said when they made that argument, you said, thank you for proving my point. So you did agree with it. So it is an argument that you did make, man. Listening to what I said, and you did do like your haircut though. In my own videos, you listened to what they said and simply left a comment without actually listening to what I said. Look handsome. So to be absolutely clear, I do not think anybody should gatekeep cosplay. I do believe that anybody of any race can cosplay whatever character they feel like they want to. However, it is my personal opinion and my personal feelings that I think that a white person cosplaying uh, an exclusively black character, like Black Panther, for example, is somewhat insensitive. But in no way. I don't think it's insensitive. I think it's uncomfortable. I understand what you're saying. Whereas, like, it's only one of the only available characters to black people, and because of this social atmosphere in these in these cosplay communities, where like it's you're discouraged from cosplaying as a black person, as a white person, like as a white character, that it's uncomfortable when somebody invades a space that you see as comfortable. I get that. Why do I feel the need to dictate what other people do? And that's it. If you don't. Understand what I'm saying here. I'm not going to try to make you understand. Also, I know I insulted like 80% of the anime community, and I just want to say I meant to be fucking word of that. 
<laughs> if you apologize to them, I was gonna hate you. That was funny. I like that. I okay, want so Papa got to pee on my face. But just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face. 